Hey guys, Sean Holsinger here again this week for another fly tying video. This week I'm tying a micro mayfly. Uh, just a simple little nymph pattern. Um, not real, real hard to tie. A little bit. You know, I'm tying it on a size 16, so that can get a little difficult the smaller, smaller size you go. But it's a beautiful looking little fly. Uh, let me get started on it. Alright, we're tying this fly on a size 16 competition hook. This is from Hannock. And uh, it's a Stillwater Wet number H230BL. You can use your normal nymph fly hook or wet fly hook on it. That's fine. Uh, we just got these Hannock hooks in at the shop, and I really, really like them. I've been tying on them a lot. With the big push to go barbless and stuff, these Hannocks fill that need. And um, they're really, really good hooks. Uh, the thread I'm using is a 70 denier Woodcock colored thread. Uh, like I said, small fly, size 16, so I'm going with the smaller thread on this. And I'm just going to lay down a nice little layer of thread there. I'm going to readjust my hook a little bit. There we go. And um, wrap it back to the back, keeping it nice and level. And when I'm going to go just around the bend of the hook, and I'll tell you why here in one second. And when I get right around the bend of the hook, I'm going to build up a ball of thread. Okay, we're going right around the bend of the hook because I want to put a mayfly tail on this. And I want it to lay flat off the hook. I don't want it to stand up in the air. So I just go right around the bend and tie it down. For the tail on it, I'm going to use pe uh, pheasant tail. I'm just going to take three strands of pheasant tail. And I'm going to put them on one at a time. This is a little bit time consuming, but it makes a really cool looking tail when you're done. And the, the other reason why we put the ball of thread there to splay these feathers. And I'm just going to put one on at a time, like I said, right behind the ball. And I make sure I get one on each side. I'm going to loose, put it on real loose, okay? And I'm going to get it to the length I want which is about the length of the body and then I'll come in on the other side put another one on like I said you gotta get it on there loose so you can position it where you want it to get it on to the side this is probably the most difficult part of the fly we're gonna put the middle one on here now just gonna set it on top Get it on there kind of loose. Get it to straighten out where you want it. And then tighten it down. And you're going to take it all right back to that ball. And you got to kind of tease these feathers as you go. But once you get it back to the ball, they'll all splay out where they're supposed to go. And like I said, it takes a little bit of practice, but the end result is worth it. There you can see the nice splayed maytail, mayfly tail. And uh, it's not particular hard, just a little bit of practice and you'll get it. Get a nice ball back there and, you know, just put them on loosely, pull them to the length you want, and then tie it down tight. Now I'm just going to build up a slight bit of thread here just to give it a little bit of body remember it's a size 16 so you don't want a lot of body next thing I'm going to put on is some small black ultra wire and I'm just using the small because like I said small fly and the black is just going to be a little bit of contrast for me and this fly I want to want to say a little disclaimer Tie it however you want. I'm using, like I said, I was using a 16 um, hook. Go smaller, bigger, whatever you want. But remember, mayflies are typically smaller. And we're imitating a mayfly here. So kind of try to keep it small. The bead, I didn't tell you what size bead I'm using. The bead I'm using is a 332nd. Um, tungsten, brass, whatever you got, whatever you got handy. Whatever color. If you, like the, if you prefer black beads, put a black bead on it. This is your fly. I'm just showing you a way to tie the pattern. Next thing I'm going to use is some Flashaboo. 
Um, this flash of blue that I'm using is actually a green color, fluorescent green. Um, use whatever color you want there too. Use crystal flash. Crystal flash will work just fine. I just have some, this is a color that I like it actually. The thread underneath it shines through a little bit so it's going to give it almost a brown color. That's why I'm using the wood duck, but it's a, a flashy brown. So we're just going to put that on there. We're going to wrap it on. And I'm just going to cover the whole thread base with this flashaboo. Alright, we'll just wrap this the whole way up. And once I get it up here, I'm going to tie it off. Okay, now we're going to set this flash of blue aside. We're not done with it yet. I just want to put my wire down now. And I'm going to go opposite with the wire to hold the flash of blue in place. And I'm just going to rib a nice little body on there. Use whatever color. If you want to use gold, use gold. I've done a couple in gold. It's just with this um, green flash of blue, it doesn't show through really good with the brown under thread on it. So I went with black just to give it a little bit segmented look. Use whatever color you like, like I said. Alright, now we're going to get our piece of flash of blue back. And I'm going to tie it down. Uh, get it under here. We'll just to do her this way. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to double it over. So I'm going to tie it in there and then I'm going to wrap it back. And this is going to be the uh, casing, the wing casing. Give it a little flash. Now I'm going to come in with some dubbing. And for dubbing, use whatever kind you like to use. It doesn't really matter. Go with something buggy. What I'm using is Hair's Ear Plus, um, Dark Hair's Ear. The Hair's Ear Plus has some Antron in it. Gives it a little bit of flash, but um, it's a little, it's real buggy looking. That's why I like it. And it's just a natural color. Now you don't need a whole lot on here, and I'm going to end up probably pulling a little bit of this off, but keep my flash should be back out of the way here. Alright, just make... Oh, no, I guess I didn't. Alright, dub that on there. Now you see how I got that on there. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some legs on this fly. For legs, we're going to use some more pheasant tail fibers. And I'm going to use about four or so on each side, four or five on each side. And we're just going to lay them on the side. And then put about two or three wraps and that's it. And then we're going to cut these off. Do the other side. Just hold, it, hold them down tight on the side. Put three or four wraps there. You know, first one or two, do them loose, get it into place, and then come back and pull, cinch it down good. Then I'm just going to tie my flashaboo over the top. All right, just give it a nice little flash back there. Now the last thing I'm going to do, and you do not have to do this part, I'm going to put a real quick whip finish on this. If you want, if you want to stop here, stop here, and uh, whip finish it off, make a nice little collar there. But you can also do what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to add a little hot collar to this. So I'm just going to get out some orange thread, fluorescent orange, 140 denier. And I'm just going to make a couple wraps there. And I'm going to start it off. And to tie it down here, I'm going to take the tag end and wrap it around like twice. That way I can put less wraps to tie this down. It won't make my collar as big. It will just give it enough to make the spot there. 
So just put you know five or six wraps there, locking that thread in place, and then hit it with a whip finish. And there you got yourself a nice little tiny hot spot collar on this fly. And that's all to this fly. It's not that hard. The only, like I said, the only hard part is that tail. But you see how nice that tail is, the, the outcome of it, if you put in the time, it, it looks really, really nice. Give this fly a try. I'm sure you'll like it. You know, it's a very good mayfly imitation. Don't be afraid to change up the colors of it and the beads, whatever you want, whatever you have. Just uh, have fun tying. That's what fly tying is all about. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take the time, please, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram. And you can follow us in all those different ways. Thanks again for watching, everybody. The material to tie this, you can find at our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. Mm -hmm.